Welcome back to part two of my gel press video. So last video we made some pages using the mini, um, added quite a bit of pattern and some lighter pages that are going to make the reverse of our concertina book. And now we're going to look at how we take it from something like that into something like this. So I've got some finishing bits. These still aren't quite finished, but I've got some little collage bits on there, rusty washer, little heart cut out. So I've got some extra bits on there that I'm kind of working with. So to take these on to the next step, I'm going to do some stamping and I've picked out a few stamps. These are some Andy Skinner stamps. And I've also got this one. This is designed by me for Stampatique. This is a little texture cube and I'll be using some archival inks and white pens to do a little bit of highlighting and doodling and I'm still going to come back to my gel press with the gold paint because I want to add um, a top layer of gold and I'll be using that with the corn cob etchings stencil again. I'm just going to randomly stamp And now I'm going to use this number one. I might do this in black and some red. And I'm going to do some white pen doodling now. This is a Signo Uniball. gold as a top layer. So I've got my uh, petite square back mounted onto um, acetate. I've got some, this is a DecoArt Media metallic gold and I'm going to use my corn cob stencil again. ready to start piecing my little mini journal together. What I am going to start adding on some of them is you can see I've just made a start little collage images. Um, I've got some rusty washers here. Um, this is just an off cut um, or a braid off piece you know how you get those uh, leftover bits and I've just cut a uh, rough hand cut a little heart out ready to I think I might stitch that on and some extra little collage bits now when I piece it together I've cut some craft card it could be any color really black will be quite nice and I'm going to have that on the front now the craft is slightly bigger and when I sandwich it all together then that one will go on the back so the front will have all of these brightly colored ones and the back will have the paler ones and in between there I'm going to sandwich a long piece of ribbon so that I can start folding it together. I like to add stitching on mine now that's always optional because you can just stick these I'm going to put stitching so I've added my stitching now so let's just have a look at what we need to do to piece it all together. I've just done bits of stitching on each page but as I said that's optional um, I've mounted it onto the craft already and I've put a little bit of tape in the middle on the back of each one. This is a good strong tape and this is going to um, catch the ribbon in place. And then on these reverse pieces, the ones that are kept deliberately light so I can journal and write on these, I've also got 
two pieces of tape and this when it's added is going to cover up that stitching at the back and in between I've got this long length of um, I've got like a torn silk ribbon here but anything would do I'm going to sandwich that in between leaving a small gap between each one just to allow it to fold over onto itself and make a chunky little concertina journal. So now I've got my little journal all pieced together, simply held together with a bit of uh, silk ribbon in the middle. On the reverse there's my lighter side so I've got space to journal and all there is now for me to do is I'm going to add my little rusty washers and maybe a little bit of uh, sparkle just for a little bit of bling. Thanks for watching. Bye.